Hi, this is James from tracyandmats.co.uk and I'm here again with uh, Mark from Motorola and as you can see we have the, uh, the Motorola Atrix here. Uh, let's, uh, let's have a look and see what's, uh, what's going on with this one then, Mark. Okay, so let me uh, take you through this one. So this is the new Motorola Atrix. It's the most powerful smartphone in the world. You'll see from a design, a very nice, um, sleek and slim design, very nice and easy to fit in the hand. You've got a four inch QHD display uh, on the front there, you've got a front facing camera for video conferencing, you've got your Android keys at the bottom, if I turn it onto the side you've got your micro USB and also uh, HDMI port on the side there. Uh, on the other side you've got your volume keys and on the back you've got your uh, 5 megapixel camera, your dual LED flash, at the top you've got a 3.5mm headset jack and then this little thing here which is uh, both uh, a power button, but also doubles as a fin fingerprint recognition as well. I did wonder what that was. Yes, so very, very nice and, and easy. So let me uh, let me show you uh, a quick overview of, of the product itself. So the product features uh, a Tegra 2 one a dual core one gigahertz processor with a gig of RAM. So it's lightning fast to be able to scroll through all your different items. You see, just a quick show, just of the speed of it. If I want to. Scroll to the edge there and just hit the home button quickly, how quickly it renders there. You've got the all of the different apps on there. Again, you see how fast it is to scroll through. So it's very fast, nice and quick and easy to be able to do that. If I uh, open up a website here, you can just uh, see all the websites you've got. Very nice and quick and easy to do. You've got 802.11n, same way you had on, the, on our tablet. Everything runs very quickly. Uh, what we actually pitching this device as is not just a smartphone, it also is a, a way to extend to both your desktop and your laptop and also to your home multimedia centre. So what we have uh, here is one of our docks which will be available at launch. Uh, this one is the desk dock which features a, a charging point on the back with the, the mic USB and also a 3.5mm headset jack. If I want to go and just dock it on, into the dock here you'll see it come up <coughs> with a variety of options. Uh, we have a special technology uh, that enables these two devices to talk to each other which we call whisper technology which is based on a RF frequency and it allows you to customize what happens every time you plug it into a dock. So for example here you can see there's a widget clock option and the ability to remember my selection so every time you docked it into here it would know that you wanted to open the widget clock. <coughs> so here's the widget clock it gives you a quick overview of what the time, the date, and also access to uh, turn on an alarm to uh, dull the display or to brighten it back up again. And also has the ability for you to customize it by adding shortcuts on the bottom there. So what I use this for is by the side of my de bed, I have this plugged in charging overnight. You can also use it as your alarm clock when you wake up in the morning. So that's the base dock. If you scroll across over here, we have a, a TV set up that has the uh, multimedia dock integrated. So here's a multimedia dock. This one features an HDMI port as well as a, a USB on there. And we've got various ports on the back. So we have three USB ports, HDMI, charger and three and a half mil headset jack. You'll see there I've got a wireless mouse plugged into the back of here. So you want to dock it in here. It comes up with a number of other uh, additional options. So what we're going to show you first is the entertainment center. So if I click on entertainment center, it will turn the device into a, um, a full entertainment center that you'll be able to use at home. So here's the entertainment center. So this is a, a repository for all of your music, your pictures and your videos. So if I'm uh, sitting on my sofa, I can use this, which is a, a Motorola Android keypad to be able to navigate through um, all the different options. You can see it has integrated search, home and back buttons in the keypad itself. So I can just use this to scroll through, um, listen to music. So if I hit my music, I can see the different albums that I have stored on my device. Features a 16 gig of onboard memory, uh, plus an additional 32 gig that you can um, expand it to. So about 48 gigs there, for those of you uh, good at maths. So you can see here, <coughs> we're playing with the music. I'll be able to uh, turn the volume up, which would help. And you can go and listen to it. 
So really you're using your mobile device to turn your TV into a home entertainment system. You can then just use the back button, have the music playing still, and go and have a look at your pictures. So you can then go and scroll through the pictures with your friends or family. the quality there. I can just hit the space bar and it will then pause the music. Similarly with videos, you can, um, if I have any videos on here, which I don't, um, you can support up to uh, 1080p for the video output. So you can store some videos on your device. If you're traveling, you're going to a hotel room, you can just take your little dock HDMI cable with you, plug it straight into the back of your TV and then you've got it all working. Um, the real, real innovation on top of both the hardware being the most powerful smartphone in the world and the full entertainment center is what we call WebTop. So this really is the ability to turn your device into a, uh, a full either home or office based PC or portable PC. So what I have here you'll see on the left side is my, um, my device Android in a window. So you'll see here, I have the ability to control anything I want to, straight from uh, the device itself. I have my wireless mouse plugged in, so I'm just using my little wireless mouse here um, to be able to quickly scroll can, through. Can that be any mouse, or is it a special mouse? It can be any mouse. Um, okay. The mouse we recommend is this one, which is uh, a Motorola um, <coughs> Bluetooth mouse, but it also supports wireless uh, mice with a little adapter you plug into the USB okay. port. So, on the right side here, I can then uh, use my keyboard to just open up websites. Uh, what I use this for when I'm at home is, uh, is iPlayer. So previously I had to use my laptop plugged in through a VGA uh, connection to the back of my telly, but I don't need to do that now because I have my Atrix and I have my dock. So you can see I can have a quick uh, access here to uh, Attenborough and the Giant Egg. But it is nearly Easter. Yeah, this was on last night actually, I missed this, but you have the, the beauty that you can, over the video on demand, so you can play that. So I can just click to play here. And then this will um, buffer initially while you. <laughs> In the same way that it does when you're on a PC. Uh, you can then view that in um, full screen mode, so I can just click on here. I just finished buffering. Uh, and I can sit and watch um, complete iPlayer uh, videos. Uh, it looks like the, the website itself is struggling a little bit, it's waiting for BBC to do something here. Um, but what I can do is Okay, so it seems like that particular movie there is probably not a good example. But what, what I do is I use that to watch uh, entire videos that you can watch um, directly on your TV. So just quickly plug that in. And have everything right there. So there you go. Looks like the video itself has fixed itself. This is a story of an ancient island, an extinct giant, and a mystery that I've been puzzling over for half my life. So you see the quality there, if you miss anything that you want, you can just quickly and easily watch that. Ago, and you can I see the quality, here, there's no lag. Madagascar, to make a series of programs about the island's remarkable wildlife. So that's no. what you use when I'm in a home. Um, what you could also do is use it to connect to your email when, when you're at the office. So if I have this, if you can imagine, instead of this being a TV, it's actually a monitor. So I can go um, to my um, email, so I go to... Uh, Gmail. There's Gmail for example, that will open up Google Mail, and then you've got your full Gmail solution on there. Um, you can sit and watch YouTube videos, do anything you can do from the full or web browser experience on there. What you can also do is you can pair it to this dock, which is our most elaborate dock, which is in its case, uh, and that is the Motorola lap dock. <coughs> so you see here you have a very light, very thin laptop. If I open this up, 
you'll see it features a 11.6 inch display. You have the full uh, keyboard there, the mouse pad. Um, on the front you have the, the battery indication, so you can just press that and it shows you, lights up how much battery that you've got left. On the reverse you'll see it has two USB ports, has your charging port, and then more importantly it has your little docking station. So here that pulls out and then I'm able to take my device straight out of the one dock and put it into the other. So I can slot it into the back here. You'll see one of the key things we have here is the speed of boot up. So for those of you who wanted to count that, that's around about three or four seconds boot up from taking your device out and straight into the other one. So you'll see it's left off exactly the same position that we had it with originally. So it's still got the Gmail login there and it's still got the, um, the connection to the email on there. What you'll see at the top is there's a number of different status items. So you've got your settings, your Wi-Fi uh, strength, your Bluetooth, um, GPS, everything that you would expect. At the top there you've got direct access to what's going on on your phone. If I want to bring my phone up again I can just open that little part there and then I can go and browse any of the different applications that are available on the device. So if I wanted to open up my music application or so if I go and open that there that will bring up my music so I can then go and listen to my music from my connected media player uh, application which ships on the Atrix so if I uh, open up this one for example I can then uh, play that maybe in Japanese uh, but I can play that then um, by increasing the volume on here and now play through the actual stereo speakers on the lap dock itself, so we have one on either side. What's the battery life on the on the, on the laptop like? It's up to seven hours of yeah. use. Okay. Will it charge the phone while the phone is docked? It will do. Okay. So what you do is you you have a, you have your phone and you use that to drive all this experience. You can stay um, productive, uh, but when you finish with it, you have a fully charged device. So that for me, uh, using it at the office is one of the real key benefits is when you're in every one of these different docking environments that I've shown you, the device is being charged. So you no longer have any issue with battery drain, which is obviously a key uh, requirement for smartphone users. Mm. So I can take a call, receive a call while I'm browsing YouTube, for example. If I'm on iPlayer and I get a call coming, it'll notify me in the top part here. I can take the call. The video would continue playing, but it would just be muted and the call would take preference for the audio. I can then use it directly through speakerphone or with a headset or with a Bluetooth headset as well. Cool. All done. So the fact that it's docked doesn't, I don't lose any functionality from the phone itself. You'll see at the top here that when I open different applications, it comes up as a tab. So it's also very easy to scroll from one to the other. If I wanted to go straight to home, that goes to home there. If I wanted to go into my contacts, there's direct access to my contacts here or to the dialer. So if I wanted to go into contacts and just search for somebody, so see if I have a James on here. So you can see it's very quick and easy to do that. James Marshall there, all their information. And I can just give them a quick call directly, send them a text message. So very easy to navigate using the uh, onboard uh, keypad. Again, if I were to then take this dock out, put it straight back into the, uh, the multimedia dock here, select web top and then again you'll be able to transfer with just a few seconds and you've got everything back on TV again. So a seamless transition between different environments, it's being able to stay entertained when you're at home or when you're on the go, it's being able to stay productive when you're at the office or when you're on the go with the laptop dock and then you have the suite of accessories of the, uh, the keypad there, um, you have the, the, the Bluetooth mouth, you have the, the standard dock, you have the lap dock, you have the multimedia dock everything is supported for a complete mobile computing experience. Okay, does the, um, does the this particular dock uh, come supplied with the device or is this an ex added extra as well? Um, it, that will depend, uh, depending on operator or customer requirements. If uh, we work very closely with all of our operator and um, retail partners, some of them may decide to put it in the box or some as an aftermarket accessory, so that will depend case-by-case case basis, but everything I've shown you today will be available from day one at launch. Okay, and the laptop here, mm -hmm. Can you, uh, have you any idea on, on UK pricing for that one, or again, is that dependent on... Uh, 
yeah, that's, uh, on the, the retailer or the, the carrier, etc. You're picking up very quickly. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So that is that again, or very dependent on okay. on each different retailer have different different propositions. So stay tuned for that one because okay. we'll be, you can't we'll be just launching a rough, in a rough guess. No. We'll be launching in Q2, so we don't have long to long to wait and to find out. Okay. All right. Lovely. Um, I think that's about it. Very impressed, and uh, thank you very much. Good. You're more than welcome.